This is your weekly moment of growth. One thing I've really realized over the last probably year and a half or so is that we're in charge of checking ourselves every single day. We need to make sure that we're on the right track. We need to make sure that we are consistently growing. We need to make sure that the actions we're taking are developing us as human beings versus holding us back. And so I, I began to think to myself, how do I do this every day? How do you check yourself? What types of questions do you ask yourself? And so I realized there were a series of questions that throughout the day, whether it's in the beginning, the end, or in the middle of the day, I check myself by asking these specific questions, and I wanted to share them with you guys. First, I ask, am I taking care of myself? You guys have heard me talk often on this show about you know making sure that you fill your cup up first. Well, you do this through a number of ways. One is by taking care of yourself, whether that's by eating right, that whether that's by exercising, whether that's by curating better relationships, that's by having better self-talk, making sure that you're not ripping yourself apart on a regular basis. That's super hard to do, and I know you can probably relate. One thing I try and do at least once or twice a day is step away for 10 or 15 minutes to clear my head, to take deep breaths, to make sure that I am in the right mindset to then take care of myself physically, emotionally, and mentally. This is something that I make sure I prioritize over pretty much anything else because if my cup isn't full, I have nothing to pour into other people's cups. So remember that. You've heard me say it before. It's just so very true. So number one, ask yourself, am I taking care of myself? Another thing I ask myself is, what's my unique ability? You know, I live in a world as a podcaster where there's so many people starting podcasts on a regular basis. As a matter of fact, in 2019, there's already been 100,000 new podcasts started, and that number grows every single day, as you could imagine. And so when I ask myself, what's unique about me? It's not podcasting anymore, that's for sure. There's so many of those. And so I dive a little bit deeper. And I realized that as a podcaster, I truly care and I genuinely want to know more about people on a deeper level. I feel like I ask the right questions and I feel like I'm a very, very good interviewer because I'm empathetic to the person's story and what it is they want out of it. And that is what sets me apart from a lot of other podcasters out there. And so I want you to ask yourself not only what sets me apart and what's unique about myself, but you have to go deeper. Right. So if you're a graphic designer, there's a lot of graphic designers out there. But what is it about graphic design that makes it unique to you? Whether it's you care about the brands that you're building or whether it's you have a special technique that you use, dive a little bit deeper and ask yourself what makes you unique. What that does by asking yourself that is it gives you a boost of confidence. It allows you to stay in your purpose and allows you to keep moving forward to progress in life. I also ask myself, what am I proud of? This one's always really hard for me. And it's also hard for other people that I talk to as well, like my clients. And it was really hard sometimes to toot our own horn. I found that it's a lot easier to rip yourself apart and down talk yourself and bad talk about what it is you've done rather than celebrating your accomplishments. So I want you guys to ask yourself on a regular basis, what am I proud of? What am I proud of today that I've done? What am I proud of this year that I've done? What am I proud of in my lifetime that I've done? And you'll notice if you think small, right? So what am I proud of today? You know, I gave time out of my day to day to help a friend. I'm proud of that. I'm proud of being able to do that for them. And it's something that I want to do more of. So ask yourself, what are you proud of? Then I ask myself, what new skill am I learning? What am I improving on? What makes me better? What makes me a better coach? What makes me a better mentor? What makes me a better podcaster? The only way to accomplish something like that is by making sure you're constantly learning, absorbing new information, whether that's listening to podcasts like this one or reading books. What are you doing to improve your skill set so you can give more to other people? And obviously, as everything that I do in my life, it falls into my brand, and that is growth. And I ask myself, am I still growing? There's a quote that I love, and I'm sure I've used on this podcast many times, and that is, what is not growing is dead. And I love that quote because if you just become stagnant and stale, there's no happiness in this life. And so what am I doing to continuously grow in life? What am I doing to push the boundaries? What am I learning? What am I focusing on? What am I doing every single day to make sure that I'm growing as a human, as a brother, as a son, as a podcaster, as a business owner? What am I doing right now to grow? And if I'm not growing, 
it's time to shift my, my goals. It's time to shift my perspective and my purpose. So these are the five questions that I take a step back every single day at some point throughout the day and I ask myself. It's the greatest self-check that we can do because it keeps us on track. It keeps us growing. It keeps us moving forward. I hope that these five questions have shifted your perspective. I hope that you begin using them in your daily practices because this is something that allows me to stay on track. I want to thank you guys for spending the last couple of minutes with me. I'll see you next week.